Howdy y'all, it's Brian again. Uh, well, I was actually, I'm, I've been thinking about making a, the next video using AI text-to-speech. Um, that way I can actually write out, write out a script and have the AI actually read out that script. Uh, that would probably avoid me from actually just speaking out loud, maybe stumbling on my words, or if I wanted to bring up a particular subject, uh, that would keep me from forgetting pieces and portions that might actually be kind of important, but I just want to make this sound natural. I want it to make it sound more fluid uh, instead of having an AI, because I, I hate to say it, but you know, uh, at this point, you know, it's 2023. If you by any chance haven't heard about it, all the corporations, all the vendors, they're basically investing millions of, of dollars basically to get all the AI tools to work. You have AI that generates images, you have AI that generates video, AI that is a chat box, ask it a question and I'll reply to you with an answer regardless of if it's school or if you just want to chat. I mean, there's just so many tools out there. And the one I've been looking at particularly is what I mentioned before, but it's text-to-speech. I write a script, it talks, it says that out loud for me, and you know, I don't have to, I don't have to worry about forgetting of any particular details. I can be more concise. Uh, I write out the pamphlet and let AI do it for myself. Now, on the other hand, if I were to write up the script, I feel like my OCD would take over. I had to practice the script, read it over and over. And try and get it to learn. Uh, try and get, try and practice that particular uh, order. But, anyways, it sounds exciting. It just really sounds. Just the thought about it sounds really exciting. Where if I were to make a video, uh, using gameplay, as background, audio from the AI, and maybe just even music that's already pre-recorded, technically the only human interaction is non-sane. It's it's a hundred percent non-facing type of, uh, of an upload. But. That's, I guess that's what makes, uh, I guess that's what, regardless, like, you know, if time has passed by and AI has taken over, maybe there will be always a, a demand for human content, uh, no matter how flawed, flawed it is. Uh, I, in this clip, you probably hear there's a lot of ums and a lot of us, but maybe that's what makes it special about this clip. It's just it flaws itself because I sound so stupid or because I sound so natural or because I sound so good or bad it's just my net it's just my flaws that actually kick into this recording and are recorded and while ai is just perfect the pronunciation is so much better yes ai can do wording pronunciation better but it's, it also can do a lot better drawing than i can at this point you know it's been trained so well it's literally just a machine that picks up so quickly uh software that even though it takes a lot longer to train compared to a human person, or at least uh, to what I understand at this era, once it's mastered a particular objective, it's pretty quick on its feet. It's pretty good on its. Uh, it's pretty good on literating and outputting what it's told to ask. Uh, what it's told to do. But as a coworker that once told me before, and he asked me. Brian, what are you going to do whenever AI crashes or you don't have access to your utility? And I guess technically speaking, that also goes for like if I don't have a, ne a connection to the network, I can't upload anything. If my computer goes down, I can't use my computer. You know, there's just a lot of things that there's a lot of points of failure or there's a lot of things that could go wrong where basically I don't have access to uh, what I'd like to do. But... And the other hand, on the other hand, the more I do things naturally, the better it is for myself. As not only do I practice to pronounce uh, wording myself better, because I feel like I need to practice on that, but just other aspects in life. Let me give you a good example. This is pretty shameful, but I don't know how to use an atlas. Uh, maybe it's not that hard, but I just never used one. I always rely on GPS. I told myself that if I'm driving down the road, and what if my GPS breaks on me? I guess I need to go to the next store and buy a new one. <laughs> what if they only have Atlas in stock? It's just the fact that AI, while it's been a tool that can actually expedite a lot of situations and a lot of um, particular goals, it can make people lazy, to be honest. Let's take AI art that actually draws. Well, I'm going to have to learn how to draw, right? <laughs> 
there we go. It's just a skill that I don't have to worry about. I can spend that time playing video games, watching movies, just spoiling myself. But that's just really it. I'm just taking that for example too as far as not being able to read an atlas. Uh, maybe I'm not the only one or maybe I'm just a complete idiot. But it's just the thing that if I never used to before, if this is the way I was, if this is the way I was raised, then you know I rely on technology so much. Uh, let's take writing for example. Uh, typing, for example, another way, uh, uh, as far as mechanical as this sounds, uh, I got a feeling that most people are better typers themselves, you know, not trying to brag, uh, can type 60, 60 words per minute accurately, and some can even do more than the so, but when it comes to writing, I have to slow down, and I struggle, and then my OCD kicks in, and I'm like, mm, that letter doesn't look right, I need to go back and fix that, so, <laughs> anyways, um, that's just really it. It's just the fact that I can't really, can't really rely on, on technology too much. Uh, I write a script, AI puts that out for me. Obviously, it's not my voice. Obviously, this recording wasn't me. But anyways, but anyways, aside from praising AI, maybe I can just start doing some clips and just kind of wing it, kind of go along with this. I've seen some, uh, as if you watch my previous vlog, I, I kind of more or less explained that how impressive it is when someone can actually gain a skill and actually use that skill and put it to work. And maybe with practice, I can just come up with the solution, figure out what I want to talk about and actually upload it to YouTube without sounding too stuttering, without sounding like I'm clashing with my words too much or tripping over my words so anyways um let's go on with this I uh, like I said it's all or nothing uh this is the this is a little bit of a random vlog I just wanted to go on and just upload it and post it and see how it, come, it turns around um that's I guess that's basically the beauty about vlogs I mean it doesn't have to be something specific I am going to eventually bring up a uh I am actually going to start talking about basically my first day at Best Buy. From Best Buy, talk about my current job, which is basically IT. But, uh, but yeah, anyways, we'll stay tuned and go from there, see what we can actually pick up on it. Anyways, thank you for the listener that stayed tuned.